what did you learn about PPE or reactive oh, flea injuries incurred by fatigue? If you put your arms out in front of you like Superman, your arms actually pitch in at seven degrees. They don't come out straight. So we designed handles for the most part to be at seven degrees. So when you go to cut, it puts you in a boxer stance, keeping the saw to the right side of your body, which minimizes the impact zone and so forth on you. Uh, this stance helps to offset free reactive forces of a saw, which create fatigue. Uh, when you put a chainsaw down on wood, what is the motion? Does it tend to move away from you or does it tend to come into your body at the bottom? It, it tends to move away. So we, we call that the reactive force of pull, pull away from your body. So this boxer stance just helps to minimize and anchors your body so it doesn't, if you come up two minutes, it goes down, pulls you off, where the left hand is the number two area of laceration on a Sawyer's body right now. A lot of that is that way. A lot of it is also up in a tree where an arborist is holding onto a saw or the branch and the saw skates left over the top of his left hand or across the fingers and that. So this minimizes the force of pull to keep you a little bit less fatigued, just so your muscle mass doesn't do it. Conversely, when you cut up underneath something on the top part of the body, it tends to push into your body. So I always tell people, you wanna keep a chainsaw close proximity and the handles are designed to reside on the left leg or close to it and the right or rear leg to offset that push back. So you don't have to just work your, your strength or lose strength by it. This will hold it into the cut and so forth that way. For every inch I move this saw away from my body at 10.5 pounds, it adds about 20 pounds to my lumbar. So if I'm out here working like this all day, this creates fatigue, it's bad for your back, creates injury. So that's three strikes, you're out, no good. The third reactive force is called kickback. And you never wanna to touch the top corner of the bar to wood. And if you do, it will kick very violently in the radius or the plane that you touch that top corner of the bar to. So if we're gonna go through wood, we wanna start with the bottom and then up and allow the pulling force of the chain to draw it through the wood force, okay? Now, if this kicks this way, comes up that way, and that's called a mechanical activation of a chain break. If it kicks this way, we've actually designed a saw now with a handle in the rear so that it will activate a chain break to protect you a little bit that way. This also speaks to you because you're not allowed unless you're in a tree. You're not allowed, you're not supposed to take a saw up higher than your shoulders. You can see when you do that, it activates the chain break. Or if you don't want to lower your body like this, which is very bad for you, it'll activate the brake. So it'll talk to you so that you will lower or get your body in a position so that it will not activate. Now, if you're in this position here and you're not ready for it and it pushes you back to the top corner, it can throw you back right away. So that's part of why we want to hold that stance so it doesn't push back to the kickback because it can happen very quickly and then throw you back and you bail out or throw the saw away from you and so forth that way.